Today's vlog is focused on two exhibitions that I saw up in Sydney earlier in the week. The first being the Controversial Real Bodies exhibition, which is more like a medical travelling show rather than an art exhibition. And the other one is a beautiful, beautiful solo show by Lada Dedic called Self Portrait The Artist's Brain, which is being shown at M Contemporary in Willara. So right off the bat, I must stress that what you can gather from the title of the show, Real Bodies does contain very confronting imagery of actual human corpses. And I do advise anyone who is sensitive to such content to please refer to the timestamps that I've provided in the description box. That way, if you're still interested in what I have to say about the show afterwards, you can freely skip to that. No worries, I completely understand. But before we get into all that, I'd like to show my trip in reverse order. So first I'll be sharing this walkthrough of Lada Dedic's show, as it is a really wonderful exhibition that combines my love for both medical science and medical art and textile art. And I highly recommend locals to check out these works in person. There's nothing quite like seeing art up close and catching all the details, particularly if it's fiber art. Since the gallery is quite intimate, the footage I have is quite brief, but nonetheless I hope you enjoy. over whether I should actually share this footage or not. I first got wind of this exhibition through friends and especially considering the sort of art that I like to do, this really seemed right up my alley. I mean, where else can you find better references of the human body rather than going up and seeing actual specimens? And in that regard, my expectations were fulfilled and I certainly learned a lot through the displays. However, the show also left me with a lot of ethical questions and ultimately I do feel that in order to discuss it I should share this footage just to at the very least provide some context of where I'm coming from and I feel that it will lend to me discussing my conflicting experience. Again, if you don't want to see this, you don't have to, please do skip ahead.
Okay, so please excuse me if I look a little different. Um, I had to actually record this much later because of renovators just next door and that would have been really hard to record at the very least. But yeah, anyway, that was the Real Bodies exhibition. As you can tell, it's definitely not for the faint of heart and even for me, who relies on such references for their art, um, this was not an easy show to see. However, what made it particularly disturbing to me and I'm ashamed to say I was quite naive to, was the controversy surrounding this particular show and the company's history and practices. See, when I first heard about it, I was so excited and I pre-booked tickets the night before. And fast forward to where I'm on my way to the venue itself, by the gates, I see this protester who stopped me to kind of go into a conversation. She was interested in knowing why I was there because usually with these sort of shows you get a good cross-section of um, school groups, of families, uh, medical students, etc. And I mentioned to her my reason and she then asked um, if I was curious or if I had thought about where these bodies came from, which is a fair enough question. And I told her yes, it did cross my mind but I just assumed that they were all donated as in Western countries it's actually quite commonplace for people to donate their bodies or organs to science. As it turns out though, in Chinese culture, it is believed that when a person dies, their body needs to be whole and intact in order to cross over. So much so that although it's been on the rise throughout the past couple of years, voluntary organ donation for when after you die has been quite low. And therein lies the issue. After this protester, who was so lovely by the way and really informative, after she had briefed me on why they were there protesting, she encouraged me to just seek out further research after the show. From what I gathered, to summarise very, very simply, there are strong causes to believe that A. Some of these bodies of Chinese origin may have been sourced without consent and B. The bodies on display are identified people who may have been executed prisoners on death row or even just prisoners of conscience. And this is just my very, very brief summary and in no way am I an expert or even affiliated with any group. Honestly, I just paid to see a show and got more than I bargained for. So for those wanting to learn more about the subject, I hope that the links that I provided in the description box will be of some use. Anyway, so going into the venue with this still fresh in my mind, it made me think about a few things which I'd like to now share. I suppose what this encounter did was help me change my experience as a consumer, whether it be of knowledge or of art. I think what makes these sort of shows appealing to the public, myself included, is that we're paying to access references, in this case of the human anatomy, that we otherwise wouldn't be able to. And scientific curiosity is such a wonderful thing because in order to advance ourselves, we must first gain an understanding of ourselves. But in saying that, we must also understand that there is a very clear line between curiosity and perversity. One thing that really didn't sit well with me was actually seeing people ignore the signs and try to, you know, sneak a feel of the bodies on display. I guess just to, you know, see how they would feel or even just try to discern whether the displays were actually real or not. Which, needless to say, don't fucking do that. In addition, I think this experience has also helped me reflect on how I approach my own artworks, as well as identify the issues that I have with that practice. Talking about the other exhibition, what I really appreciated about Lada Dedek's works is that she uses herself as a source material, and that's what I want to achieve with my own works. Some of my works in fact refer to surgeries or diseases that have affected either myself or my family, with permission of course. But I have to say that the least fun stage in the process is actually looking at the references, because ultimately it's a stranger's body. And whether I'm thinking about it or not, I don't know if it's been documented and published ethically. Unfortunately, I don't think there's really any foreseeable way that I can avoid using those sort of references, but at the very least now, I can try to seek out more ethically documented ones. And also, if I find myself getting too engrossed or allowing that morbid curiosity take over during the art process, I can try to, you know, take a step back 
and work on that. In closing, would I go again to see this exhibition? No. I got what I needed out of it, but for an extra price. As for recommending this show, what I would instead insist is that for people who are interested in seeing these types of shows, to not go in blind as I did. Make your own decision, but make sure that it's an informed one and it feels right to you, you know? I had the privilege of seeing the beauty behind our human anatomy, but the key operative word here is privilege because I pay to see the bodies of people whose names, identities and beliefs I'll never know and most likely I saw them without their consent. I decided to share that footage to hopefully satisfy that curiosity without giving more profit to this company and I decided to put it before my own comments with the hopes of introducing this new perspective in a similar way that this protester did for me. I truly am grateful for having the chance to talk with her and I hope that this video serves as my own way of honouring that conversation. So thank you so much for bearing with this really, really long video. I know it's not the easiest subject and I know that it's especially weird seeing that most of my videos up until now have been of like these really cute needle felted tutorials. So hopefully with my next couple of videos I can get back into that but I felt that this is a really important video to put out. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you later.